Using shortcodes is an intrinsic part of the WordPress experience. A lot of plugins don't add custom blocks to the block editor. Instead, they enable you to use shortcodes to place elements on your posts and pages. To do this, you'll need to use the shortcode block. To get started, head to the post or page you want to add the shortcode block to. Then press the plus icon, type in shortcode, and select the first option. Alternatively, you could type forward slash shortcode and hit enter to do the same thing. Before we continue real quick, just notice that the block is here. We haven't actually entered a shortcode, but we can see the block. However, if you preview the website in a new tab, you won't see anything at all. So until you actually add a shortcode to that block, the block will not display. Now, once we enter a shortcode, there's nothing else that we need to do. WordPress will automatically parse it and display the results on the front end. So preview, preview a new tab, and there we go. Keep in mind that the shortcodes you have access to will depend on the plugins and theme you use. Traditionally, plugins and themes will include comprehensive instructions about how to use each shortcode and what parameters you have access to. The shortcode block itself doesn't include any additional settings. As you can see, when we press on the block, we do have our typical transform to group columns or drag and move tools, as well as our more options that let us copy, duplicate, insert before and after, move to, add the reusable blocks, group, and of course, remove block. And when we press the settings icon here at the top right of the screen, there's literally no settings at all. The reason for that is because its only job is to take short codes, parse them, and generate the elements that users will see when they visit your website. To change the style of any elements that you generate with short codes, you'll need to set different parameters. Some short codes will provide you with plenty of customization options. However, that depends on their implementation and not the block itself. In my example, this short code is for animated text, and we have a ton of different parameters like type, duration, delay, inline, class, and so on. But not every short code is going to have this many options. It's also worth noting that just as with any other block, you could add as many shortcode blocks as you want using the editor. However, you can only add one shortcode per block. So now that I entered the animated text shortcode into this block, I will have to add another block to add shortcode again to this page. That's pretty much all you need to know about the WordPress shortcode block. Feel free to check out our YouTube channel for even more WordPress block videos. And I'm sure if you watch every single one by the end of it, you will definitely be a block expert. If you enjoyed this video though, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.